Hello everybody, my name's Rebecca and welcome back to my bookish travels. I thought that since I am in the near end, I feel like, of a reading slump, that today's video might be fun to discuss the books I'm unhauling. It's something that I really enjoy doing. My process is I normally take a bag and I will leave it in my room whenever I read a book that I don't want to keep or perhaps I have a duplicate of the same edition of a book. I will put it in this pile and when the bag is full, I will then either give it try to sell it or donate it. And that is normally my process with getting rid of books. I don't shy away from it and I don't do these massive unhauls. I normally do unhauls a few times a year because it's not something that I wait to see how many I have at the end of the year and go from there. Normally it's whenever the bag is full, I unhaul it. And that, again, normally happens a couple of times a year. Without taking up much more time, let's jump into this unhaul. So I'm going to start at the bottom of the bag and work my way up to the top because it's oldest to newest. So some of these are actually from last year and then the rest are from this year. The first two in the list are The Wallflower Volume 29 and Volume 30 by Tomoko Hayakawa. These ones ended up coming damaged to me when I purchased them. So I ended up getting replacement copies and I didn't end up actually needing to keep more than one copy of the book on my shelf. So that is why these are in the unhaul. The next one is a Blackbird by Kanako Sakura Koji. This is volume one and I ended up, I read this and it just wasn't for me. So this was why I was unhauling this one. Next one is Shakespeare's Christmas by Charlene Harris. This one, the seller actually lied on Amazon about the condition being like new and this is not even gently used. I won't even show you a lot of the stuff that is damaged on this book, but for that reason, it ends up like really hurting my heart. So that is why I haven't bought a replacement copy of this, but I decided to unhaul this one. Next, I have The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. I am unhauling this one because I did read it, but I didn't actually like it. So for that reason, I think that there's probably someone else out there that will like it much more than I did. Next, I have Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Moss. This is part of the miniature character collection. This came damaged, so Amazon ended up sending me a replacement, and I don't need to keep two of the same edition of the book. Next, I have Stunning by Sarah J. Moss, part of the Pretty Little Liars series. I read this and I think I've mentioned before, I'm not a huge fan of the Pretty Little Liar books. I don't connect with the writing or the character, but I am wanting to know what happens in the rest of the series. I did own all of the hardcover editions of the full series, so as I've been reading through them, I have been giving giving them to a very dear friend of mine who absolutely loves these books. And once I finish the series, I'm going to send the second part of all of these hardcovers to her and she can have all of the beautiful, stunning, pun intended, uh, hardcovers for the Pretty Little Liars series on her shelf. And the last two in this to give away unhaul are politically correct bedtime stories, and Once Upon a More Enlightened Time by James Finn Garner. These ones I did not enjoy, and that is why I am unhauling these. So my sister ended up really liking the general premise around these stories and said that she would love to read them, so I'm actually going to be giving these two to my sister, and she's going to try reading them see what she thinks and then we can discuss after she's read them. So those are the last two in this unhaul for today. Let me know what you guys think. Do you unhaul books on a regular basis? Are you against it? I feel like it's becoming a little bit more normalized to discuss getting rid of books, but I know there are some people that are 
completely against it. If they bought it, it's an investment. They want to leave it on their shelf. And I know at one point in time, I was like that. But with having more books, I now have more of a critical eye. If I don't like it, I'm not keeping it on my shelf. My books and my bookshelf are a representation of who I am. They're a representation of what I would recommend, what I enjoy reading. And they're also a representation of what makes me happy. So for that reason, I'm pretty active on being comfortable with getting rid of books and again it brings me joy to be able to pass them along to someone else who is going to love them just as much.